Yes, indeed. Let's go over the team roster super quickly. Um, would you like to go over Saints or 425? Um, they're starting now, actually, but yeah. uh, I'll go over Saints. Um, that's Smyrre on Demo, uh, on Kaja on Medic, Caps on Soldier, Vani on the other Soldier, uh, Denny on Scout, and Hank on Scout for Saints. Alright, I'll catch 425 in the next downtime, but I'm watching Death for this first roll and it appears that he's gone bottom right, which is a very risky choice for Denmark, it puts him at height disadvantage. And the first one to go down there is Meisu, as he tries to go in for some sort of bomb. Annex soon follows him, that's no soldiers up to CP Granary, both of them go down super early. In fact, the Russians are being very Russian and Crit and Dicker has 100% Crit Squeak right now. So uh, we should not go 100% Crit Squeak, 70% Crit Squeak right now. And I think Onkaj is just building very very fast, but uh, it looks like the Russians do have to get out of there and let the Saints cap this mid. Yeah, that was uh, that was a good mid from Saints to be honest. The uh, Denia stayed alive for a lot of moments. Oh, I'm sorry, in, Kristen though. from Smy takes down Dicko with that first crit stick alongside Anik. That is definitely not good. They're yeah, going to win this round straight up now. Yes, indeed. And you can see that the Saints are already pushing in down the left side into last at the moment. 425 are two down at the moment. They're trying to run out of heavy, but Yangpa is immediately shut down quickly. That's only three up right now, and that point is being captured by Smyr. That was good. Um, Smyria really kind of uh, carried that round, to be honest, but the rest of the Saints played really well as well, just forcing them out and making the crits completely pointless for them. Yeah, that was uh, really well played. Now I'm going to go over the 425 roster. We have uh, Meisut on Soldier, Yangpai on Scout, Def on Doberman, MSH on Scout, we have Anuk on Roma, and we have Dicker on Medic. Now I'm watching Caps for this mid fight. Let's see if he can do anything special. He's jumping all over to the enemy garage at the moment. He's going for a massive bombing onto his fight. He takes him down immediately. The other Soldier jumps into uh, Vani, takes him down as well, that is amazing. Oh man, Onkaja there manages to get out alive. MSH did really quite a bit of work now, he's, he's on like 29 and he's behind them at the moment. Uh, I don't think he'll be able to do anything else, but he he was very very close to killing both scouts as well. And they just popped the Kritzkrieg as well. Um, Ooh, my bad. Okay. Yeah, my bad. I don't know why, but I was watching... Yeah, I don't know why, the colours switched over for me. And I thought that Smyre died, when uh, in fact he stayed alive. Well, that was weird that they just popped the crits. I don't think they really needed to. On Kaja wasn't really in any danger as far as I could see. Um, but, okay, they could rebuild it now. Um, but 425 yeah. now have a full uber. They're going to push through guy. Yeah, they're pushing in already. You see that Saints are taking the high ground. They're just going to try not to die to this uber. Although Smyr, they're going down really quickly to Anik. On Kaja also jumping in after death jumps in the world as well. The Russians are getting super duper aggressive and it's working out in their favour as uh, they should be able to easily cap this point off and even push to second because Denny is the only one left alive with 41 health. Well, yeah, uh, Smyrna has just spawned so they should be able to defend last a little bit but by the time they're going to be pushing this last anyway uh, they're going to have Uber. Um, there's nothing that they can really do on um, Saints. But Hank has gone Sniper and they do have a Heavy as well in Denia. So who's, who knows, like, they might have a little, uh, yeah, a big player coming from Hank that might shoot the Medic in the face or something, but I very much doubt it. Yeah, Dicker here is coming up to 100% at the moment. It looks like he wants to push through the right side with Anuk and his Devil Man. In fact, yeah, he's popped over early to avoid those sticks by Smyre. They're focusing that heavy down, but Denia finally does go down. Now they have to get Onkaja. Onkaja is stuck by the door at the moment. He's been sticking off. That point is all over with blue people, and they do equalize it to a 1-1. That was really well played from, from the Russians there. Uh, they focused the demo is, is, is exactly what they needed to do on that last as well. So basically just getting rid of all chance that uh, Saints had of defending that last. Really well played. Yeah, it's looking to be a fairly even game between both teams. It Not even five minutes has gone past yet. And I'm watching Smyr for this roll. He's gone garage at the moment. And yeah, he's gone bottom right. He's putting some sticks on the point, but he's not hitting anyone at the moment. You can see both scouts from 425 taking the high ground right now to deny any jumps. In fact, all of 425 have pushed hard down left side. They take down Caps with that first bit of aggression. MSH getting that second kill onto Smyr, who was exposed onto point there. Death there going down, but it already it looks like things have to get out because that Russian aggression is really working out in their favor. Yeah, that was um, again really well played. They just pushed forward, made it so the uh, Saints didn't have any room at all. Um, they did keep their medics, so they're going to have Uber to defend the second point, but 
Um, with this Russian aggression, if they don't get pushed out from here, I'll be very surprised. Yes, indeed. It looks like things are gonna give for 25 yard anyway. Yes, they have given it to them. No, they're edging back in at the moment as soon as they go 100% Uber. And you can see that they're trying to get into low yard, although it looks like Ankaja wants to use the Uber to defend it as Ubers are exchanged in yard at the moment. And the blue Uber was popped first, so they're just going to have to get out and retreat by a garage. And I have a horrible feeling that we're going to see some of the usual Grammy stalemate situation. Yeah, um, they've just traded the, the Ubers, so um, Dicker now has a very, very slight advantage. It's just not even, uh, not even really something that we should even note, to be honest. But yeah, they're just going to sit in the, in the yards and... And hope for the best. It's going to be a little bit harder for uh, for Saints, I think, because pushing into mid is a lot harder than pushing out from mid on this map. Um, but I don't think either of them really want to push without someone making a mistake first. Yeah, both medics are coming up to 70% at the moment, and they just need some sort of pick to push in, or they're just going to uber pop to get some sort of pick. You can see that Smire has put some sticks on over garage, which is what we usually common push in as you try to go into yard because it gives you these two exits here which is uh, much easier to push in than from choke which is a lot tighter and you can get trapped in more easily indeed um, it's looking like Dicker is, is kinda wanting to push here he's he's on the left like poking a little bit um, they're gonna spam hopefully they'll get something they've actually got on Kaja down to 60 HP um, he's just gone back for the health um, but that would have been a good time to push because he would have been in a bad position to defend for a second there but Again, it doesn't. It looks like it's just going to be a stalemate again. Yeah, it's very hard to get eyes on a granary because it's so tight. And you can see on Kaja there took a horrible sticky as well. He has to retreat again for health. So I'm hoping for 25. Know this. They're looking to get aggressive. You can see that death there is very low at the moment. But both teams again are holding. Not really much to report to be honest with this, but. <laughs> So, how do you think would be the best way to crack a stalemate situation like this, Connor? Um, to be honest, uh, I think Saints would not really be able to do it personally, so um, because of pushing into mid being a lot harder, um, 425 could do it quite easily if they just sent a bomber or something, because if they lose someone now, it's really not the end of the world, since they do have Uber and they're in a better position to defend the mid if they do lose someone, so if I was them, I would send uh, a Roma in, um, or something like that, or suicide someone in or I don't know just recycle or even walk in with two scouts uber them and make them force the med and run out again but it would be quite risky because they'd have to run back through garage and they are actually pushing right side now yeah wow the dick has gone in through choke with both soldiers at the moment there's a lot of grenade spam coming in Spy's doing his best to hit them but on Kaja is taking a lot of damage as well Saints have copped on that garage is a bit exposed and can see that Caps is uh, showing some rockets down there and yeah, now you can see that Saints are actually edging slowly forward to the choke points. But both Indeed. medics have still held on to 100% Uber. This all being really safe right now, but it looks like the, the Russians are pushing left side through uh, ramp room now, and on Kaja... Oh, oh Dicker God. goes down! Dicker drops there, he was so low, edging through garage at the moment, and a spare rocket from Caps from behind catches him off as he pushed through so many of his team. And now should be a seeing a push in from Saints because there's no medic and uh, Anik is also down as well as MSH. Saints seem to be playing it slow for once. Uh, Death goes in to try and get some sort of suicide onto Onkaja. That was a uh, well played by them waiting for the suicides to come in and now you should be able to catch mid easily because they did leave 425 with one up as uh, Anik and Dick are two respawns. Is that, yeah, that a was... cap? <laughs> it seems like oh it. Oh yeah. my gosh. Uh, are they going to get this? No, they're not going to get the last with this, but that was a really good uh, thing from Mesut Ozil. I don't know who that actually is. Yes, uh, Mesut. But um, yeah, that was really well played from him. Completely did, uh, denied them from from the mid uh, and, and delayed everything completely to give his team a chance. Otherwise, they might have even got the second there because they were in a much better position. Yeah, the Uber is popped there by Saints into Yard at the moment. You can see uh, Vanny is going absolutely massive in there. And uh, he helps and assists on like three people. And Dick is being chased off by Vanny at the moment. Wow. And gets picked off. Yanni with a 4k there, picking off Yangpai as well. 
that was really well played from Vanny, to be honest there. Like, he had some really nice rockets to begin with, and then he just finished it off with an air shot on the scout there in the mid. Like, absolutely effortless. Yeah, and you can see that mid fight, mid point is being capped off now. Onkaja is already on 50% uber right now, as it looks like Saints are gonna capture Yard with ease. Yeah, um, I don't really see how, uh, how 425 could even defend this. They're not even going to be on second. They do have a soldier in the in the lunchbox bit on top at the moment, looking for a free pick on a scout or something like that. But they don't have anyone else at all on that point. Every single other person is on last. Uh, Anak is top, which means they do actually have both soldiers not on last. Um, that's questionable, because if Saints go aggressive enough now and leave one person to cap, they will win the last uh, without yeah. question. On Kaja there, Oob bring both scouts in past that second point. I guess he thought they would be stickies or something because both soldiers were spamming. He was trying to push the scouts in onto last, but when faced with Yang Pai on Heavy there, they, they decided the best thing to do would be to retreat. Dicker here has 100% Uber. He's po pushing his team up through the uh, sandwich bit. He's uh, popped his team all the way up into garage. Smile is being chased by an Uber soldier at the moment. He's juking those rockets like insane. Oh my gosh. That was. Weird, like, Dicker really shouldn't have uh, even been able to get Uber by that time, but um, a, a little bit of a mistake from Onkaja, I suppose, with that pop. Um, but they're going to come back in now, and they're going to actually have an advantage, because Dicker didn't really get that much done with that Uber, even if he did um, manage to cap the second with his team. Yeah, he popped on Anak, and Anak missed, like, all his rockets onto Smy, who's doing a merry dance around him. But on Kaja there, popping that Uber in through top, they're gonna focus that heavy. Yampai is going really low, though. He finally goes down, but Denier goes down to pay this price. That point is being capped by Scout. There's sticks all over it, though. And oh my god, MSH getting the 2k there, Smy on Kaja. He gets a free catch. He cleans up caps as well, with um, Mesu and Death cleaning up Vanny and Hank. That is a complete wipe for Saints. That was a really well played. They didn't take uh, well, they weren't fast enough to clean up that heavy. Yang Pai was just soaking up all the damage. This 425 got into better positions. Yeah, um, Saints were kind of split up there. They were just taking damage all in different places and weren't really together enough and weren't really focusing the same people, um, which just basically lost them last there because MSH was just able to walk into them with much more health than they had and just left click. Yeah, now you can see that things are doing their best to try and hold the yard at the moment. Although Dicker is building pretty darn slowly. You can see on Kaj is already on 80%, whereas uh, Dicker is sitting on 50 at the moment. you got to wonder, is that a crit squeak? That is a crit squeak from on Kaj. He's going to be popping in this dumb man. The sticks from death are blown all over the place. And Smyther takes that messy with that first crit sticky. Can he get anyone else? The rest of 425 have gone safely inside their second point building. And they won't be getting anyone else. In fact, a uh, Hank there goes down to some great uh, sticky traps from death. That was kind of sloppy again from Saints. That They're just throwing away their advantages that they have. I understand that people want to uh, use the crits when they get it, but they're just giving oh. it away. Chris Creek popped uh, onto death there. He doesn't manage to get anyone though, but uh, MSH does manage to pick off Denier, which was uh, really well played by him. You can see Vanny is hiding in his garage there, as Caps get picked off by death as well. Um, I. While 425 were pushing Yard, Death sort of jumped out of his shutter door and he cleaned up Smire and that meant no sticky traps to block off mid. So that's a really well played by him. Death is having a good game, definitely. Yeah, uh, he's playing really well. MSH is also playing really well this game. He's just picking off people that really shouldn't be where they are, um, punishing them for being dumb, I suppose, uh, which is exactly what this team needs. Um, with the aggression that they have, they just need to pick people off and then keep the advantage they have. And they're actually rolling onto second now. Yeah, you can see that on Kaja has actually switched back to Medica and he's sitting on 50% right now whereas Dicker has 100% crit squeak. Saints know this and they're scared they do not want to peek for the fear of being caught by a crit sticky and they're just going to give them this point for free. All that they're going to send um, to their way is a few sticks. Although Vanny there tries to get a bomb and he does finally take down death. There's sticks above the doors. Why are they catching out Yang Pai? But that uh, crit there is popped onto Soja, doesn't manage to get anyone, and Dicker actually gets headshot by Daniel, who is on Soja. I mean, Soja Sniper. Yeah, they really didn't want to use that crit so early, but then they just thought, they, they were like edging in and saying, oh, forget it, let's just use it on a Soldier instead, but it's not as good, not as effective, clearly, it's a lot harder to hit your rockets from that distance, uh, so it just didn't work, basically, and Daniel got the headshot, obviously, to just completely deny it at the end, and had insult to injury. Hey, can see Yangba has actually switched over to Heavy right now to defend an um, 
425 managed to get the forward spawns and with a heavy there just soaking up all the damage they're definitely going to be able to hold it in fact with Hank going down looks like 425 are just getting really aggressive and they're pushing down the right side right now Anik there tried to go for a bomb he shot a lot of the things back into their spawn caps there going down Anik there finally going down to smart however Denny as soon follows him into the spawn queue on Kaja is stuck on that right side right now that Chris Creek is popped on the heavy right now bullets everywhere Again, that was well played from the whole team, but MSH went pretty big again, just picking off people that are just in bad positions. I think Saints really need to work more as a, a unit to, to play against this team, because the aggression that they have is, is just going to pick people off here and there, and you're going to have an a disadvantage of, of people like all the time, and that can't happen. Yes, indeed. I'm watching Death for this rollout. We're up to the fourth rollout now. It looks like Death has gone to back a Great sticky there by Smite, catches him in the face, Death there surviving on 7 health only, Capster jumping and following on Smite's damage, picks off Death, no double man for this mid fight and with Mesut down as well and their respawns coming in 15 seconds. It looks like 425 are gonna have to back off right now, Dicker is on, in fact on Medigun and uh, both medics have even Ubers at the moment as on Kajra is already pushing into that left side garage with his team. Yeah, Smear is just going to walk in now, um, have completely free run again, except the fact that they've got Uber, so they're popping onto them. And that's going to be really bad for Saints, because they're not going to be able to cap this point for a long while now, if at all. Um, and they're losing people, or oh, 4025 is losing people, rather. Um, that's really sloppy from them, they, they had a much better position there. Yeah, Death there gets a great stick onto Vanny. In fact, Smite and Cats both go down at the moment. It looks like Onkaja is trying to push in with uh, Denny and Hank, the two scouts. And they do finally cap this point. MSH goes in, but there's not much he can do against the overhealed scout. Dicker tries to go in and follow him, but he gets pissed to death right now. There's only one scout left. Young Fight on last. He takes down Hank. He can't do anything else. There's a soldier coming in as a respawn. Remember, they're getting her rocket onto Onkaja, but Denny is soon falls up, taking it to a 2 2 equalizer with 13 minutes left on the clock. That was really sloppy from 425. They had a much better position. They, they basically just uh, came up to, to Saints and was like, nope, you're not capping this point. This is exactly what you want and you're not having it. And they had a better position to then work together and push them off the point, being that they were the defenders, but they just completely beefed it and sent people out and, and lost three people really quickly. Death almost got it, but... Yes, indeed. I'm watching Smire for this world. It appears he's gone choke right now. He hasn't done any damage yet. I can hear that Death has actually gone to garage side, and it looks like Smire is blocking off the garage at the moment. He's taking a lot of damage right now. Gets a beautiful pipe there onto Anna. He finally gets taken down by Yamba, who's just run into them. Running the up and 425 are free up at the moment. They. Uh, Saints lost Smire for uh, in exchange for three people. At this point, should easily get capped off as uh, Dicker will have to fall back to second with 100% Uber. That's not too bad for 425. They just played this the same way they did last time, except don't lose people. They should be okay. Um. Yeah, that Uber is actually popped in through Zed. Hi, on Kachi. Popped it onto <laughs> two scouts. Dicker then drops the Uber. I guess he was trying to hold it for way too long. And we do have a pause, actually. Do we now? It's not pause for me. You may be oh, lagging. My bad. I am um, lagging. Right, 425 are pretty much going to lose this round now. They've only got one person up. It's actually 3 2 now. Um, what happened there was we had, uh, like, Dicker was just stood there in the corner. He, I don't think he really expected a scout to just walk forward and three shot him, but uh, all of Denny's shots just hit perfectly because he was basically stood still. Um, and yeah, he just miscommunicated, I guess, with his team. Didn't even realize the scout was there or something. Yes, indeed. I'm watching Death for this world right now. He's gone choke as well. And he, oh my gosh, a great sticky from Smire there, who's gone uh, ramp for him. Hits him in the face. Oh, a soldier's jumping him at the moment. He's definitely not going to survive that as uh, Caps there jumps in, he does so much damage onto him and uh, Vanny there alongside Smite jumping up cleaning up MSH and that uh, Yang Pai and Dick is the last one to go down there's a complete wipe there for 425 as Saints are definitely showing their dominance uh, you can see that Smite has already jumped onto that second boy he's jumping out all the way onto last right now he's gonna stick up their spawn 425 have only just got their respawns up can they hear the stickies outside their spawn? No, they can't as Anik there goes down. Wow, that was... I don't even know how you can't hear it, the demo reloading, but this is just going to win them the last with no problems whatsoever. Really well played, to be honest, from Smyrri. Yeah, that round there, Smyrri? Smyrri? 
Am I, oh, have no. I pronounced it wrong this time? He was doing heck of a lot of work anyway. It's now 4-2 to Saints on Granary. There are 10 minutes left of this game. This is map 1. So uh, we should be coming over to a second map in 15, in 10 minutes even. But uh, it looks like 425 will have to pull out something amazing to uh, bring this back. Yeah. And start um, the momentum. I'm looking at the soldiers, to be honest, for, for 425, because they're not really putting a lot of pressure on, on the other team at the moment. Um, they're sort of hanging back a lot and taking a lot of damage while not really being that uh, important, I guess. I say that, but then... Saints are just pulling out completely and letting them have the mid. That was weird. Yeah, I think 425 predicted Saints to just go forward on their momentum and get really aggressive, and they sort of just like um, held back. And Denny there tries to go in and get another drop on the Dicker. It's not going to happen though. The Uber is popped in from uh, 425 first, and that Uber from Onkaja comes in later. Although Soja is being found stop in the air. Who's that unfortunate person there? Danny there gets picked off meat shot in the air after being joggled around. That was uh, actually well played from the from the soldiers there. They did exactly what I said I guess. They just went aggressive as soon as they had they should do and uh, forced Saints to pull out. Uh, and they actually lost Denio as well because Denio was overextending. MSH picked him off really quickly. Uh, the same way he's been doing all, all game basically. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to go through for a dry push or they're going to edge it because Smire there went down quite late in that fight and he hasn't come back up yet, so that's no sticking on the point run. I can see the soldiers are getting up on the pipes at the moment. Vanny is trying his best to uh, lay down some damage and delay it until Smire comes back up. Smire is actually back up right now. You can see that Camster has jumped up top. That Uber is popped in. Vanny there's finally going down. Um, however, Yangpai going down as well. Def and Annex soon following them. That Uber is popped back as Onka got his a bit later right now and 425 are in trouble here it looks like Dicker is just going to run back to his forward spawn and leave MSH to delay it and MSH was doing a good job taking out Hank there but he finally does go down to Spire that was um that was weird um I don't really know what happened there they um on paper I think at 425 should have just won that last uh quite easily but I think they focused the wrong people started DMing instead of focusing the point a little bit and they just gave the Uber to Onkaja, basically, and let him do that. But um, now it's just going to recycle. They're pretty much exactly equal. Um, and both medics have Uber, so it's going to be a bit stalemate again, I think. Yeah, I don't think that Dicka realized that he was building Uber a lot faster than Onkaja, because there were periods when Onkaja was just healing like one target because his team were retreating. And I think they just uh, didn't estimate that. But it looks like Yangpai has gone heavy, and the 425 are going to go for a hard push down left side, but some great sticks there by Smire. Take down Anuk as he tries to go in for some sort of bomb. Uh, Van needs just sat in spawn at the moment, so that as soon as they come in, as soon as the sentry goes down, he can just switch class. That's actually really clever. Um, so it'll be a lot more useful. Um, Annex actually just respawned a sniper. I'm pretty sure he's a good sniper from what I remember. Like playing it in like a lot of seasons ago though. So we shall see. He's actually going to open the door himself. I'm not sure about this. He'll probably die straight away. Peeking at the moment. Oh, he gets yeah. a really nice body shot to Smire. And he's 28 HP now. If he hits anything else, he's going to get him. Yeah, well they, oh my gosh, Mesut there, following up on that damage, take down Samiri, no stick is up at the moment, and they're just going to go for a dry push up left side again, Dicker still hasn't popped that uber, he's focusing a lot of the heals onto the heavy there, Vanny there, not Vanny, Caps there, tries to go in, that uber is finally popped there by 4 so there's some sort of back cap going on, who's that on last hang there, trying to go for a back cap, gets cleaned up by Mesut, the uber from Onkaja finally fades that moment, but there is a scouting point, he was hiding, by the tires there, but MSH finally does go down. Dicker does have to retreat. That was really well milked there by Ongaja. Um, he held that Uber long enough to, for 425 to be delayed by Hank, who was trying to go for a back cap. You, you say like it was well played by Ongaja. I, I do agree. However, I also think it wasn't very well played by the rest of the Saints team because Anak was completely missing like a lot of shots. He was getting a couple of body shots here and there, and it, but he was stood completely in vision. He could have been focused very, very easily uh, a lot of times, but he just got completely free reign into the last. I mean, anyone that was hitting his shots on that day would have got like three or four picks there and won the last easily, especially against the heavy that was basically standing still the whole time. So that was kind of poor from both Anak and most of the Saints team, but luckily for them, uh, on Kaja milks things pretty well, so he's got the... Uh, the Uber now and is absolutely fine. 
<laughs> and we can see that Dicker here is on 100% Uber right now. Vanny there getting picked off as he tries to go in full force there because Onkaj did pop his Uber too and they didn't manage to get any of 425 as they try to push in onto mid. So now Dicker has the advantage. He's going to yard right now. 425 should be able to get yard with ease here. With Smile going down, they might even be able to get second with ease. That Uber is popped in through Z at the moment, takes out Caps as he wasn't quick enough in getting out and they're actually just going to pop this Uber all the way up into last right now because Smite and Caps still haven't respawned yet. They've gone down the hard right side. They need to focus Denny sitting 400 health on top of the pipe. Vanny there goes down. Denny goes down to a fantastic headshot from Anik there. They're going to flood onto this point and focus it right now as Onkaja and Hank do go down and it brings it to a free fall with four and a half minutes left on the clock. Can, four can 425 take this to a golden cap or even win it? Maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, I'd say so. I think with that momentum they could easily win this mid if they keep what they're doing up. Um, Anak finally actually hitting the headshot on the, the heavy there and winning them the last, which he should have done before, uh, but you live and let learn, I suppose. Yes, indeed. I'm watching Cats for this mid fight right now. He's gone over by Choke. He's actually jumped over onto mid. He's hidden by the enemy garage right now. What's he going to do? He's going to jump over to the health pack. Oh my god, he takes out Dick at that first one. He's going to... He doesn't take out... Um, Death, but he does do so much damage on him. Death is surely going to get cleaned up. However, Caps and Smile also do go down alongside uh, Hank and Vanny. So now it's just Death and Denny on the point right now. Death picks up the health pack, but he's getting so much pressure from Denny on that point right now. He's sitting on 35 health right now. He needs to hit a pipe or two. Oh, get out. He should get out. If he dies there, that would be so, so poorly played. Um, Denny should have really gone for him there. Um, the cap wasn't even that important since it was going to be... Uh, taken anyway, we could just walk back, but Death was really lucky not to die there. That was kind of poorly played from him. <laughs> yeah, indeed. I was surprised he didn't actually go down, but it looks like Caps missed his third rocket there. But uh, that was still very well played by Caps. And you can see that right now both medics are on about the same amount of Uber, coming up to 70% at the moment. And 425 are holding their yard while Saints are holding mid. Saints know that they could essentially park the bus here because there are 3 minutes left on the clock and they are one game up. Granary is no notoriously turtly right now, but it looks like Saints are just going to go for the aggression anyway as uh, that 100% crit creek there is popped onto Smire, but uh, 425 were building really fast. They popped that Uber back to counter it and there's not much a crit screen can do against Uber right now as Onkaja there is the first person to go down, Hank Sim follows him yeah, uh, MSH and Yangpai doing so much work there, taking out Vanny as well uh, Caps are going down to Yangpai as well, Yangpai getting a 2k back there up. there is the back cap going on right now, that point is being stacked deep time for 4 to they should get this wow, that was very very close it was a good call to be honest from Smyrna and he's killing himself so he gets back to last quicker um, Wow, that was a really good call from Smyrna, it's just really unlucky for him that he just just missed that back cap because if he got that, he would have got the round, like, easily. Yeah, Smyrna doesn't actually respawn for another 10 seconds here, and you can see that 425 already pushed down that right hand side, they take out Vanny, Yangpai there going down to Denny, who's ahead on top, they need to have Denny taken down, three people, Mercy and Anak, he finally goes down, that point is capped, it's 4-4 four, four at the moment, Serious Cat in the street. The stream chat there saying Denny and Dear work, and indeed he was, but he didn't do enough work to save the point. There's one and a half minutes left, it's 4 4. Can it be capped, Connor, in this time? Um, in one minute and four, yeah, I'm pretty sure it can, yeah. Um, yeah, it can. <laughs> um I'm watching Death here for this rollout right now. He's gone to floor, whereas it looks like Smart has gone over to Balk at the moment. He's put some sticks onto the tops right now. He predicted that Manny would jump in on Kaja that getting cleaned up by Mezu as well. But lots of the sticks are low at the moment, and Hank is the only one left on 38 health, as uh, the rest of 425 clean there up. I think they might be able to get this round uh, if they keep going forward now. Um... They're gonna have the Uber, they're gonna win they're gonna get this round to be honest. They have uh, a demo with the pain train, they should be absolutely fine to just roll into last now. Um they've got fifty six seconds to do it, so I don't see why not. Yeah, Dika here is on one hundred percent Uber, whereas on Kaj is currently standing on twenty five percent and they changed the server. Oh <sighs> god's sake. I hate it when they do that. No, well yeah, it is horrible, but I think we can safely say that four twenty five won that because they wouldn't have changed the server if it went to a golden cap. That's true. Do you want to try and predict what happened? I, I always do story time with Scully. 
whenever this happens. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they won. Uh, <laughs> but then I just messaged Death uh, from 425. He said, yes, this is Saints. We win. Smiley face. So, yeah. I suppose they won 5-4, uh, which is really well played from them. Coming down from being at a disadvantage, they, they did really play it very, very well. <laughs> yes, indeed. So uh, we should be coming over to map 2 right now, which is Gullywash. So that's already a 3 points in the bag for 425. We, I wonder if Saints are going to bring it back to an equaliser, or are 425 going to carry on their momentum. We did see the end of a warm-up that Saints did uh, versus TCM uh, with Little Cedar on Medic instead of Bite. And they did manage to knock off a round of TCM. Um, I feel like 425 is better at the moment. Um, they have just as good DM uh, as Saints, and I think the defining factor for Saints against most people is firstly the DM is pretty good, and also they do things that people don't really expect, like they run Sniper at stupid times and stuff like that, or uh, arguably stupid times, I suppose. Um, but against a team like this that does basically the same thing, uh, I don't think they're a an advantage at all, so. I'm going to predict that 425 will win this one, um, unless Denia plays Sniper and doesn't get shut down properly, because he is a decent Sniper. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Um, to those of you who just tuned in, I'm Stanley Starmere here with Connor. We currently have an ETF to our 6v6 Week 1 Division 1 match between Saints and 425. The score there on the first map was, um, I believe it was 5-4 to 425 after a really close uh, game between the both teams. Uh, we just finished the first map so stay tuned in for Gullywash which should be starting shortly as uh, both teams are taking a slight break before they resume playing. <laughs> 